And welcome back to the great unknown and it's time to see what's up there by the way i don't know if people noticed but here you see what is missing from your car and i currently you are here we're missing a rear bumper and a thingy over here i don't know what it's called in english also something people might have not noticed is that something is really living in our engine so it's not just the car being weird it's something organic or i guess it depends on your point of view let's just call it alien or foreign that sounds better. Let's go drive. Yes, this is called Pacific Drive. I'm not sure what's called Pacific Drive. Is this street called Pacific? Maybe. Okay, let's find our way to town. Beam me, Spock. Or Scotty, no, beam me up, Scotty. Well. What would be the point of choosing other routes? I guess it's... It looks like there are a lot of resources. Park, tower, okay, whatever. Oh, okay, I guess you have to travel from location to location. <laughs> that has a creepy sound to it. Yeah, I'm enjoying this game. I just... Hope they fix the optimization and some of the other issues. Looks like the developers made the patch and they said they are very, very tired, and I believe them. But still, optimization should be a priority after the game release. Don't I made a weird noise behind me? Maybe. Also, I don't think there will be anything for us to look at over here, so let's just drive. So what happens here? <coughs> Where they have seen all of the death traps. I guess some of them. I guess it can get a lot more dangerous. I just hope nothing chases me through the woods. And saying that, I think something will chase me through the woods at some point. But for now, we just need to collect a lot of materials to get upgrades for our base, for our gas station. Well, I guess Opie's gas station, and then for our car. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head toward Whoa. town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. A huge area. I love the rain. Yeah, sorry about the FPS. FPS is still a problem, but at least it's stable. Uh, is there a reason you're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. Driver, are you sure about this? Well, they'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cappy's still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about science. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. Yeah, somehow, I don't think they're out. Out for my best interest. That thing's move. It's moving on my seat in the car and it kind of scares me. Remember, these guys explode if you touch them, so don't touch them. This is like one of those older flash games where you just have to avoid stuff. No, in I forgot what the name of that game was, but you have to run away fro from a city.
guess this one has a little bit of fuel. First thing. Okay, we don't use a lot of fuel, but I just want to be prepared. Yeah, very relaxing game. Relaxing and haunting at the same time. It's not moving, is it? No. I guess you can get all of your scrap from these cars. That's still a bit weird that... Well, sorry for stopping so much, but I just want to see if the truck... Ah, eh, whatever. We'll ignore that one for now. Should probably not keep the car running. I should also probably get the flashlight. I mean, uh, dark and creepy. Hello, I come in peace. Don't kill me. Yeah, it looks like he's not giving me any of those gas pistons. Do I have to grab them? Cartridge, okay. Keep your eyes on the road. That implies I can look in other direction. <laughs> yeah, so probably they are trying to tell me the car is what is protecting me on these road trips, but also the car is what will get me in the end. Forgetting about that. No break dancing. <laughs> Might be showing me a road. There's anything here but the road. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Something is definitely very, very wrong. Man, this car cannot stop moving. Okay, let's analyze the car a little bit. Okay, I don't think there's anything wrong with the car or the wheels itself. I think it's just the car that has taken a lot of damage. Okay. 
It's time to bring out the repair body. How do I make more of it? Like that, and that's the last of it. Everything else seems to be okay. Uh, the scrapper didn't break. Hmm. Why am I carrying gears with me? Is the repair party is more important? Sometimes I just need a little moment to enjoy the game and get immersed, immersed into the game. Oh, the headlights are not working because I'm low on battery? Come on, stop moving, it's not even that steep of an incline over here. So how does the jumper work? <laughs> what do you mean stay clear? That's what you mean, okay. Stop opening the doors at random. Yeah, so you should definitely turn off the engine when you're sitting still because, as you can see, it will just drain your battery super, super fast. Don't break my windshield. Okay. The tension is actually rising, not dropping. You know what, I feel like this will be a very bad idea, so let me just switch this on, keep all of the items, because it feels like this will just take... It will make the game take a lot longer if I just lose items in case I do a mistake, I do a silly thing. Like, you know, not watching the road or just running out of electricity in the battery. Yeah, there's a lot of driving, not much routing now. Looks like this will get very repetitive. I probably have a... Uh... I'll have a chance to get a lot of upgrades at some point because this is ridiculous. That takes a lot longer than it looks like. You know, for a city, this basically has no streets. You don't have any way to tell what you're doing or where you're going. I 
Man, is, that, is this a piece of the highway? Yeah, I like some of the design choices, but it definitely feels like most of these places are not fit to drive a car through. Probably does the entire thing, so turn off everything and go looting. Not much happening, but still it's pretty interesting. Much better. Let's get the other one. Oh, it's just plastic. I thought it was going to be something ultra rare, but no. Let me out. Sure, let me open the door for you. Check an anomaly with the light source. How did I do that? Oh man, how... Don't attack it. How do I make another impact timer? It seems like the game is kind of pulling my leg over here. Because the impact timer was something I was supposed to have a long time ago and I accidentally completed it. Yeah, I guess you should use the flares as much as possible. Use the flares as much as possible, I said! Press and hold, okay. Oh, it's a proper computer. I guess we just destroyed. Yeah, you see a good uh, computer in working order, you just destroy it. I guess we should also destroy the TV. I'm not sure if I need this many electronics. Hey, don't move while I'm watching you. That's the number one rule. Nothing moves while you're watching it. So why are they breaking the rule? You guys should really, really, really learn to respect the rules around here. I guess we can put the body back. Tourist, I know. What does it even say about the tourist anomaly? Six hundred now. Did it say don't let me, let me out or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is became this is becoming annoying. Pick up the player mini game. Not like they're giving me anything interesting. I'm just collecting a lot of the materials I already have. these materials but 
how do you avoid them? They're blocking your road like this. You have to make them go away somehow. This area is even worse for this type of deal. Oh yeah, let's craft the crowbar. Cry bar. I guess they're all looking at something. Oh. They're stuck in the mud as well. Okay. Oh, this is just. Uh, well, I guess it's not as exciting as, as it would be to watch. Arda. I want to enter this facility over here. Trap is always great. Player gun, that's something new. These are all of the materials I have so far, dumpster pearl. You know what, okay, let's just go. I don't, I cannot find the entry for that, so... Embarrassment of a pearl aim throw. Yeah, I guess we have a flare gun. Probably choose the same flares as we have right now. That's it? Probably not. It says road flare over there. Well, that was not... Actually, that was exactly what I was expecting. But a little less violent. What's the damage over here? I guess the damage is not that bad. I'm wasting a lot of time over here. Maybe the tourist will move away if you do that. Yeah, I really don't understand this part of the game. How are you supposed to avoid them? Still not close enough to Cappy. What now? 
How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. What? It's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, uh, you got this kit for it. Open the barricade from the control tower or access the bridge. How? What? Where? I have a feeling uh, that anomaly shouldn't be here if I'm supposed to open something from the tower. I destroyed the thing before we activate it. I'm not sure what's going on, I'm just trying to loot as much as I can. Don't jump up like that. What does the transmitter do? Oh man, this is one of those games where you need the uh, you need to read a book to understand how it works. I've been playing for 50 minutes and this probably the video will be much shorter than this. Okay, so what are you telling to what are you telling me? What are you trying to tell me, game? What? This is a transmuter. What is all of this stuff? Why is it showing like I have something to read over here? Sorry guys, I'll be leaving soon. Ah, the car is just slightly dancing, don't worry about it. Avoid your eyes! Avoid your eyes! No! We have been trapped again! Well, that was not so bad. I guess that was just a little bit of an... Can you hear me? Cappy, Frank, my transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. That's also tricky. 
I think this car also regenerates every time you come back. So far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and charge some? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Yeah, we can do that. But for now, let's just get all of the extra materials and then we'll worry about that. It seems like uh, that still was a tutorial mission and I'm still not really playing the game as it should be. Car components, okay. Where are you supposed to put them? Oh, okay. Oh wow, that's such a cool concept and design. Now what we have over here, we can make a new storage locker if we have the steel sheets, a craft mat, why, why is it different from uh, my own? That's definitely not going to happen. Matter regenerator, De detailing station, cosmetics, I don't care about cosmetics. Oh, this is just more. Oh, it's out okay. So it's actually a, a gear section for me. Okay, now I see what they mean. Oh wow, they really have a bad time with naming things. They should name them a little better. So probably bump coral. That sounds amazing. Thief shirt. Yeah, the medium backpack. I will just assume we're already wearing the medium backpack. How do you break it? I guess not like this. Okay, what other things I can make? Because it seems like we're onto something over here, but that parka. Oh, it's because oh, these things are locked. I cannot access them. Okay, sure. Definitely the... What's it called? The outfitting station is great. I don't think I want that. Yeah, the craft mat as well. Hey, nice upgrade time. I'm not looking at them directly because it's way too bright. And it looks interesting, but what does it do? Okay, so it repairs stuff while you... Okay, you put stuff in there and it will automatically get repaired by the time you get back. That's nice. Hmm, interesting. That will also be useful at some point. Oh, we need this. So we need steel she... Oh, we need a lot of... Okay, so we need a lot of gas cylinders. And a lot of other things as well. So I guess at this point, yeah, okay, it makes more sense that the game works like this. So, can we make the steel sheets? No, probably not. And I guess this is all we have for now to go on. And let me put a pearl in the thing. Probably they'll tell us how to crack them open at some point. And 
And I think we're ready for the next adventure, but we'll do that in the next episode. So we'll end the episode by just selecting the next route and we'll end the episode by just showing you what we did. Okay, I'm not sure what these things are. I guess that means there's nothing dangerous. Okay, so I should search for a location with high, a lot of houses. Oh, and a lot of cars. Okay, E5 seems to have those things that we need. Okay. That was amazing, I liked it, but yeah, there are some things that definitely need more attention. See you next time, bye bye.